Automation journeys are more predictive of customer satisfaction and churn. Organizations that analyze a customer journey wins in customer experience and growth. It is best suited for creating multi-touch point, multi-day, multi-channel customer journeys for nurturing and engagement. Let's get more into detail on how automation journey works and helps automate the business process. Please note that automation journey is available as an add-on feature which can be activated for a 15-day free trial by following the below mentioned steps. Go to the automation journey on the dashboard. Here, you can start the free trial or purchase the automation journey directly as an add-on. Click on create your first automation or create automation button available on the top right corner of the page to draft your first journey. You will be redirected to a visual automation builder page where you can drag and drop different automation steps and build a customer journey. Here you will be presented with the shapes and annotations. We'll start with shapes where you can create your first journey which consists of triggers conditions and actions. Triggers are the initial input that kicks off the activation of an automation journey. In a sense, an automation trigger is quite literally the first step in automation. Conditions let you build a complete flow and exit points for automation. And actions are the task that starts when a trigger is invoked. Automation journeys can have one or many actions depending on what's needed to complete a particular flow. With actions, you can perform operations such as create, update, delete, assign, or start a communication. Let's create an example of a marketing campaign for Black Friday offer where you can send your offers depending on a predefined condition set. We'll start by selecting the trigger as a field match to start the automation. You can simply drag and drop it to the canvas. Once done, we now need to configure the block. Select the module from the drop-down. For the current automation journey, let's select contact module. Then comes the condition. For now, we select two conditions, one being the contact type, which is equals to customer. And another for the type is equals to the lead and hit on save. Then for the condition, let's pick contact check field and configure the block by adding prior end of condition where type is equals to customer and tag is equals to database 2022. Now, as for the action, you can set it depending on the outcome being yes or no. If yes, then we'll select the action field to be sent email. If no, add another contact check field. And checking the condition to be contact type is equals to lead and tag is equals to database 2022. Now click on the block and configure it. Here you need to first select the email field to target the audience. Choose or create the relevant email template. Toggle on the send from record owner button to use user's profile email ID as from email address. If your domain is verified in SaySmith, it will send email with mentions of your domain name. Alternatively, it will use SaySmith domain name. Auto append signature option will add the signature of the user on the email. In case if you do not wish to use record owner email address, under from email field, you can mention the specific email address to send email from to your contacts. Domain should be verified in SafeSmith to use from email address. This email address can be also used as a fallback email in case the record does not have and owner associated. Setting up a reply to email address 
makes replies go to the provided email address than the one you send message from. Now select whether you wish to track email opens and clicks of the email sent. Hit on the save to configure the block. Let's clone it and to implement the idea of sending different offers to your leads and existing customers, we can select the matching templates. You can set the action for any of the following outcomes on send, on open, on click, unsubscribe or on bounce. Further ahead, let's set another action adding an add delay. Configure the block by setting the delay time and the delay period. In here, you can also enable the daytime window, select your choice of execution days from and to time, the time zone and choose to keep the context time zone. Save the information and clone the block. Now, let's select the send text action to keep the contact updated about the offer just in case they skip the email. Select the number field from the drop down. Select the suitable template. Also, you can preview it right from here. If you have multiple numbers registered in SalesMate, select the number you would like to send the text from from the drop down. SalesMed also gives you an option to track replies by adding suitable keywords. Then save all the information. Now finally, you can exit the automation after on send outcome. Further, moving to annotations. It consists of markers and stickers, which helps you bring in more context to the automation that you have created. Let's pick the pin sticker and add a text mentioning the brief about the automation journey. Here, you get an option to edit your text with more text option. Using different font style, family, size, text color and background color. With clear formatting, you can remove the changes you just made. With more paragraphs, you can align the content well. The ordered and unordered list lets you use the numbering or simply the bullet points to showcase the UI-LI structure. You can also insert the links if required. Now, if you want to see the text in full screen, we do have an option right here. Also, if you want to use any background for the text, select the circle or the square marker, choose its color and border. Now, you can send it backward to set it perfectly well. Once you have created your journey's flow, but do not wish to publish it yet, you can click on save to draft the automation journey. Give the automation name and select the right folder. Then hit the publish button once you are ready to push the automation live. Once the automation is live, you can see the three views, canvas, live view and the insights. With the canvas view, you can draft the journey. The live view will give users an insight of the exact status of the automation journey as per the respective stage of it. The count on the left will signify the number of records that reach that step and the count on the right shows the number of records that had successfully completed the automation flow. Currently, you will see the figures in live view are zero as we just created the automation journey. 
Let's take an example of other automation to understand it better. Insights show the enrollment insights. Email insights and the text insights. Enrollment insights shows the number of enrolled contacts, the number of contacts that finished the automation and the number of contacts that had an error completing the journey. The report here shows the data based on the number of contacts enrolled to the automation in selected period. Email insights shows the number of attempted, invalid, sent, delivered, opened, replied, unsubscribed, bounced, and replied emails. The report here shows the static about all the emails sent for the selected period. Text insights shows the number of sent and received text. The report here shows the data of the number of text sent or received in selected time period. This is how the insights would show up as the automation journey is completed. You can also set the goal. Adding a goal to your automation journey will assist you to calculate its success. Select the suitable goal name and the duration. Keep exit record on in case you wish to exit the record from the automation flow if the goal is reached before the completion of the automation. Set the condition that should be matched to mark the goal as completed. You can then View the goal you just set. Please note that the users with Manage Automation permission will get an option to set the goal. And with the Actions drop-down, you can pause the journey, clone it, lock it, check the automation log and also delete the journey. Automation logs gives you an insight about records passed through the automation journey. Let us see how the automation logs will look once it is live. SaySmith also gives you an option to create automation journey with the SaySmith predefined journey templates. These templates are based on the different categories, goals and industries. Review those templates and if any of those matches your requirement, click on Use and start configuring the journey. This is all about creating your first automation journey in SalesMate. Subscribe to the SalesMate YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated on our new features, releases and insightful videos.